<laughs> hey guys, what's up? So this is our first video. I'm Tane. I'm Sam. <laughs> and we've come up with the idea of starting a vlog because we really need to recycle our <laughs> juice bottles. <laughs> um. Anyways, so we're both living in Madrid. We're both foreigners, and we're both gay. And so we've had all these, <laughs> um, you know, conversations about like what it is to be gay. And now that we can no longer listen to each other, we decided to involve you. <laughs> <laughs> and we just want to kind of vlog about like conversations that we have every day, and like you know, gay it up. Gay it up. And also, like, you know, get people involved and kind of figure out the ways of life, I'm <laughs> guessing. Of <laughs> But, um, yeah, I think it would be a really cool idea to just, you know, vlog about, like, what we're going through, especially, you know, being in a, in a foreign country and kind of figuring, it, figuring out. Figuring out, yeah, lives yeah, out, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um... So, what were we talking about today that was interesting? Well... <laughs> okay, I know one topic. Our first topic is going to be what to do when you get a straight crush. Because... Oh, shit. That's happened to me ever since I came out. I think that's one thing that we should clear up first. When we came out and how. Um, I came out in the late 1930s. <laughs> And uh, I just age very well. <laughs> okay. When do you? <laughs> I came out last year in August after getting out of a very serious relationship with a guy, which was a long distance relationship. He was a Dutch living in Holland. And yeah. I lived in Mexico, so... Actually, actually, we have that in common, the relationship with a Dutch guy in Holland. Yeah. <laughs> we, we just have a lot, a lot in common, Sam and I. Yeah. Uh, I kind of feel like we both are from, like, a different planet, and just fate brought us together. Anyways, um, so yeah, and then I got out of this relationship because, A, he was really freaking far away... And then, B, because every time I'd be with him, I'd be like, oh, crap. Like, in the back of my mind, I would just be like, um, <laughs> it disappeared. I, I'd just be like, okay, what the hell am I this doing? This is not working. Um, I love so, the JJ. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, anyways, I came out to myself first, which was, I think, the hardest part. And then I came out to some of my friends. Then I decided to come out to my family, which is important here is that I came out as bisexual to all my <clears throat> friends and family at the moment because it was just easier to say, oh, you know, there's a possibility that I might end up, might end up with a guy. Yeah. And um, so my I, I told my sister first and she kind of freaked out. Then I told my mom and she said, oh, I've kind of known for a long time, but I never expected it to be actually real. Mm. And um, she told me to not tell my dad because he would freak out. So I waited about two weeks and then told my dad and he took it so well. He was awesome. Yeah, your dad was really cool. And, um, but anyways, it's been a year since I came out, almost a year now, and, you know, I'm out and happy, and yes, you go through discrimination, and you feel like you're from, like, a completely different planet at some points, and it's really hard to have a connection with someone. I think um, it's hard, what's hard is, like, getting over that initial paranoia that if I flirt with someone, will they kill me? You know, well, well let's not get that far, but you know, some parts of the world... Um, it's that thing of like, how affectionate can I be with people? And it works both ways, because also, you just don't want to be taken, with people who are not coming on to you, you don't necessarily want to be like, oh, I'm coming on to you. Uh, I don't know, anyway, it's, it's crap. Yes. And you just kind of need to get over it. 
I think that I think the most important part is just accepting who you are, and the more comfortable you're in your own body or in your own skin, mm. and you know, like the easier it's gonna be. You know, like if you're comfortable with who you are and if you feel confident yeah, yeah, yeah. then everything just becomes easier at the beginning i would come out to people and be like oh you know i don't know how to say this it's kind of difficult right. to say and people like oh you admit yeah, that you're exactly gay. as admit. if it was committing a crime mm -hmm. and but Let really what you have to say is be like hey i'm gay and this is me i can't change it if you like it awesome if you don't like it then awesome as well I don't need yeah. you in my life um, and I think that's that's really important and it's certainly you know it comes with time the the more time you've had to deal or you know like process this information and accept it the better yeah. it will be I was I mean when I was a teenager I was praying out the gay I was like super Catholic uh, not anymore and not for a long time um, but yeah it's it's uh, it's strange how far you can come, how much you can change, and how comfortable you can end up being. Because yeah. I came out like when I was fifteen, and I'm about to be twenty-eight. <laughs> Thirteen years. Yeah. Um. That's like a whole teenager ago. Yeah. So, exactly like I mean, for instance, Sam and I are in in, in very different points in our life. He's been out for 15 years, I've only been out for one year. 13 years. Um, I mean, 13 years, yeah. And, um, you know, but at the same time, it's really nice to have a friend who you can talk to and you actually feel, you know, like, you can be like, dude, listen, I've got a crush on a straight girl, I don't know what to do. And then, like, just have that someone who will actually Coaching understand. Yeah. yeah. So, um... Great. But anyway, so... We're going to start vlogging. Uh, You've been warned. Yes. We're going to come up with new topics every week or every... Video? Um, yes, but like how often are we going to upload videos? I don't know, as, as often as it... As, uh, as often as we can. As it moves us. And um, if you guys have any questions or any comments or, or anything... Suggestions. Or topic Yeah. Anything really, we'll be more than happy to um, to vlog about it and talk to you guys. We just want to know about, you know, anybody who's out there and who actually wants to, you know. Yes. Just just talk, cause it's always good to talk, and we'll be vlogging our uh, adventures as well, cause we've had quite a few. We're going to Paris in two weeks. Oh God. That's going to be absolutely amazing. And, mm. you know, we're just Madriding it up. Um, so hopefully yeah. you guys like our vlog. And anyways, bye, guys.